Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In the previous video, we have completed update medicine part of pharmacy management system project. If you have not seen that video, just go to the description and check out the link. In this video, we are going to work on cell medicine part. So let us start with that. Let me exit this application and let me create a new JFM for this. So right click on this, click on JFM form and here we have to write cell medicine and click on finish. You can see a page has been created. Let's increase the size of this one to 1366 comma 768. Click on OK. Just minimize this one and remove min max close button from this form. Click on over here. Now we are going to place a label over here and we are going to write here cell medicine and press enter. Then go to the properties and increase the size this one is to 36. Hold. 36 ok and close this place this to the center of the page after that we need a separator place it over here and change this one increase the size of this one to the max of this page ok and inside also after that here we need a button so just uh, place a button over here and go to the properties and the just write a close button and remove the text from button and click on close and decrease the size of this one to 30, 29, whatever looks good and double click on this just write set visible set visible false to hide this page whenever we click on this one after that here we have to design the complete form so at the left side we need to put a search box uh, search options so let's place a text over here let's write a search and after that here we need a text field so i'm going to place a text field over here and let me increase the size to 300 and let me make it a center of this one and after that we also need to place a table below so let's place a table here so i'm going to click on table i'm going to place it over here and i'm going to remove all the table content like a raw column and all so i'm going to remove it and after the columns we also need to delete this one this one we just need only one column and the title of this column will be medicine so i'm going to write here medicine and press enter and just close this one and decrease the size of this one to the same as uh, our text field and select these two fields and make it as bold 12 make it as bold not color uh, this one make it as bold 12 ok and close this after that here we have to create new uh, few more fields at the right side let's uh, scroll a little bit this side ok and here we are going to place the first field that will be medicine, medicine and ID, this field. And after that we need here text field, I'm going to place it over here and making it as 300. Okay, after medicines the next field will be name, so I'm going to write the name. And then we need here text field. Let's it over here. Increase the size to 300. After that, we need for company to display the company name of any medicine. So company name. And we also need to display this one as a text. So I'm text field required. Let's it increase the size of this one. And after that, here. We also need to add other fields like price per unit, per unit, and here we need to put a text field. Put it over here. Increase the size to three hundred. Yep. Now, after that, next field will be for number of units and then we also need text fields here 
trendy after that the next level will be for total price so total price let put the text field over here also increase the size and after that we have to select all these fields or uh, labels and go to the properties make it as bold 12 bold 12 click on ok and close this and uh, let's remove the text from inside of these fields remove it one by one and just remove this text fields from here and after that scroll a little bit down and here we have to put a table so let's uh, place a table over here and decrease the size of this table and here place it to okay here uh, above this one we also need to add a button add to cart option so just put a button over here button here add to cart right add to cart and we also need to add a icon this one add to cart.png and we also need to make it as bold 12 so it should be bold 12 ok and close this after that we have to increase the size of this table so like this ok so if you see the distance between this two is little bit more we can actually uh, make little bit distance from uh, like we can let me make, um, minimize this one also let me close this one also let's select this part and uh, drag to this to the right side of this one page little bit and also uh, extend increase the size of this one and select this this three and scroll a little bit right okay this one you can see the space is almost same now now it's looking good okay okay it's something has been changed so we have to just uh, put a space over here so let's do that okay, so like this one one by one and it's automatically getting changed so just save this close this and if we open this again then we will i think not going to face that issue again okay let's try to okay not a problem at the end when we change the layout of this one then we will make the little bit uh distance okay? and this should be the max of this page so just uh, increase that one after this uh, we need to display yeah, let's increase the size of this one also okay. and at the bottom we need to display two things like uh, the amount as well as uh, uh, like to generate the bills right uh, what button we need to display and here we have to show the RS whatever the currency you are using for that so for me it is RS so I am showing that one and for you whatever the currency dollar you can show the symbol of that one okay and here I'm going to set it zero zero zero, and I'm going to make the size of this one is to be uh, twenty four bold twenty four bold. Okay, and close this. Okay, let's set, see the size of this one. Okay. After that, here we need to place a button to print, uh, like uh, to print. Okay. Here we need to place a button. Which we are going to use for, which we are going to use for display the, uh, like generate the bill. Okay, so here we have to write purchase, chase, and print. This one we need to display, and here we have to select print. I think here we need to select print. I think okay, okay. First make it as bold twelve, bold. 12 okay and then we have to select for sell something sell medicine start okay it's uh, not taking let me check what is the name of that image so generate something name is there so generate bill and png we have to select this one and close this and let's uh at the right side of this one after that we have to change the table content so first we need to remove all the raw 
okay and then we have to go to the columns and here we have going to remove it one by one so this is the medicine sin id first column we are going to display after medicine id the next will be name after name the next uh, will be company company name and after company name price per unit and after that we need two more fields so number of units so number of units and here we need to display total price press enter and close this and save this one after that here we need to change the layout of this page as our structure or design is uh, completed so change to the absolute layout and we also need to remove this one text from this field and i'm going to put a label over here i'm going to set the background so we are going to use the same admin uh, background ta image over here just place it perfect on the page double click on this remove this label name from here save this and after that here there is a different distance so we are going to select this all one by one and we are going to move a little bit right these fields okay just select this all okay and just move it so we just move a little bit right this one i'm now also going to move this one a little bit right perfectly and we also need to change the color of all the this field uh, labels so just select this one and this one also and go to the properties and and change the colors to white this one okay and close this so you can see the labels is visible uh it changed to the uh, white color okay just save this now we have to create a table in our system so that we can use it uh, to save all the details so we are going to draw and in the tables uh, in the tables okay not this one this is already created project so we have to go to the DAO of pharmacy management system this project and the tables we have this one in the last we have created the medicine so just comment that one and here we have to write st dot execute execute update this one and here we have to write create create table bill and bill underscore pk int and auto underscore increment of the primary key and bill id where care and it should be of 100 size after that bill date where care and it should be of 50 size and total paid and here we have to write big int and after that we have to pass generated where care bill was generated by which user like uh, admin uh, like uh, like btk days or which user so we have to pass that one and at the end we have to put semicolon and we have to run this which run file so it will create a table for us okay we are getting syntax error in here okay just click on okay and here we have to just end this one we have to put a closing bracket of this one and just save this and run it again okay we are still getting error just check it out first the column name should be generated by save this try to run it again okay so it should be uh, not generated because it might be it uh, has been used okay so table created successfully if i go to the database and let me log in and let me check or may see and show tables you can see the table bill you can see here generated by total paid bill date bill id bill pk everything is visible over here now we have to create a pharmacy utils 
uh, there we will store the path actually so here we have to write pharmacy utils press enter and inside this one we have to write public static string and bill path and where we want to store our bills like whenever it gets generated so at e drive we want to store it so i'm going to put that location and i'm going to save it okay now let's go to the cell medicine page and here we have to go to the source and here we have to just copy paste this line of the code over here and format this one and in this we are going to expect a string temp we are expecting username from this one like this construction we are going to call it from uh, like pharmacist dashboard page and we also need to create few variables so let's create that one first over here so i'm going to write here public string num and the first the field will be for number pattern and equals to we have to paste the pattern so i'm going to copy this pattern over here let me put it over here and after that private int final total price is equals to zero and private string bill id is equals to this like and private the string user name is equals to this one and in user name we have to pass the tim username and set location location relative to and here we have to pass the null let's format this one and save this now we are going to connect this with the pharmacist dashboard and go over here double click on cell medicine and from here we have to just write new cell medicine and inside this one we need to pass the username dot set visible and here we need to pass true okay after that we have to get back to the cell medicine page and from here we have to create few methods which we are going to use it so below this method we are going to create those and here we have to write private void medicine name and here we have to write a string name or unique id okay and let's uh, rename the table name so just change the variable here and here we have to write medicine table press enter save this get back to the source and inside this one here we have to write default table default table model this one and you can see automatically import this one and table model and here we write model is equals to default model table and medicine medicine table dot get model this one and model dot set raw count and here we have to pass zero after that we have to write try catch block catch block and here we have to show the exception close this and if any error occur we need to display so the option pan dot show messages null and here we have to just pass it and here we have to write connection connection con is equals to connection connection provider dot get con and a statement statement st is equals to con dot okay it does not import this connection okay so we can do one thing over here so import java dot sql dot asterisk and save this go scroll down over here now create a statement after that here we have to use result set result set that is first to st dot execute query execute query and in this we need to just pass 
select star from medicine will name like and whatever the like we have to just pass it and here we have to write name or this one and after this one we also put the percent like like we are using okay and in or unique id like circle double quotes and then plus plus and then we have to write name or id and add after double quotes we have to just percent symbol and at the end we have to just pass semicolon right semicolon okay let me show the complete let me minimize this one so select the start from medicines name like this and we have to using like operator over okay so it should not equal it should like name like we need to remove this equal symbol from here like this one nine percent we will format this one and we put there a little bit of space so that you can easily understand you can see like this we need to write word unique id like name or unique id so if this condition match it will return the recall so now we have to write while rs dot next and okay while rs dot next we have to just okay here close need to close the, this one and here we write model dot draw and here we have to pass new object new object and after that here we have to write rs dot get string get string and one by one we need to display the name so here we have to write unique id okay so basically in this medicines we are going to display both id unique id of that particular medicines and as well as uh, the name so we are concatting um we are just merging those two and we are going to display it over there so after that here we have to plus symbol and double quotes and here we have to put the dash and one space and then we have to place plus rs dot get the string and here we have to pass the whatever the name we get it after filter just save this and uh, this method has been created okay so after this one we have to write the code to clean medicine field so let's change the fields name first one so this will be for medicine id so i'm going to write here next unique id we, we can also write so write like that after txt name txt sorry txt and here we have to write um, company name company name price per unit so txt price per unit and here we write txt number of units and here we have to change this to txt total price end of and then we have to set all the text in this one so i'm going to write here private actually we need to remove all the text so for that purpose we are writing this one so clear medicine fields and here we have this let me let me show you and here we write txt unique field dot set text set text and here we write txt name dot set text and after that txt company name dot set text and after that txt price dot set text txt number of units dot set text. and txt number total dot set text so these fields we are going to clean it okay after that to generate a unique bill id we are going to create a method or unique id so we are going to 
right like this public string put unique id this unique id we have to generate for the bill okay so prefix prefix like whatever the uh, the initial uh, we want to you have to just pass it over here and it will return prefix first we need to write prefix add and system dot nano time we are going to use so nano time this after this we have to generate the event over here so just go to this one go to the design open navigator scroll to the jframe form go to the properties and uh, not properties right click on this one and event and generate a component show event this one and inside this one we are going to just write medicine okay we are going to call the medicine here we are going to call the medicine name uh, actually this one and we are not going to pass anything so this method will be called whenever we are going to run this trade so let me run this one and you see we are able to see here and it and you can see the test name and you can see over him means that we are able to call that method let me stop this one okay and txt unique id dot readable few fields should be not readable so that's the reason we are making it using this txt name should be also be not readable not readable calls and company name dot set readable calls and txt price per unit so, uh, set readable false and txt total price dot set readable and this one will be also false and this field should be not readable that's the reason we have to change this one after that here we have to generate uh, change the name of this one so i'm going to change this one variable name so txt search press enter and we have to generate an event so just click on event key release this event we need to generate and inside this one we have to write a string search is equals to search is equals to txt search dot text and medicine table sorry medicine name we need to uh, Created medicine name this one free and here whatever the text we are going to pass it over here. So if I run this one file and if I try to search it now, let's say if you write one one, you can see it's getting removed. If I test space name, you can see it get it's working. It means okay. Just close this one. Stop this running process. Now it's time to write the code. So that uh, we are going to click like uh, if we click on particular raw, then it should populate all the details to this one, right? So right click on this one event, and here we have to click on mouse clicked event to generate for this table, and inside this one first we should take the index. This is first to medicine table dot get selected raw and table model and here we have write model is equals to medicine medicine table dot get selected selected raw whatever the raw and after that here we have write a string name okay it's giving us some kind of error okay not a raw this one here we have write the model we need to write that's the reason it was giving us error. So name or unique ID of that model dot get value it and here we have write index index and here we have to pass the zero and dot to the string and after that here we have to write unique ID we need right from that particular uh, product so here we have write name name or unique id we need to split actually so we need to split and double quotes slash dash 
comma and here we write zero index we need to is uh, like at this position we need to split then we are going to write here try catch block catch block option okay, inside this one g option pan g option pan dot show messages and here we have to write null and here we write e and in try block we have to write the code so here we are going to write connection pawn is equals to connection provider dot get pawn and here we write a statement statement st is equals to pawn dot create statement and result set set rs equals to st dot execute query select star from medicine where unique id is equals to and here we have to pass whatever the unique unique id we have and at zero index whatever the value we are going to pass it over here okay after that put semicolon and inside while rs dot next we need to set the value so here we have to write write txt unique id field dot dot set text whatever the like uh, unique id we already got we need to just set that value and after txt name dot set text and here we have to write rs dot go string string and we have to write a name and txt company name dot set text rs dot get string and here we have to write company name and txt price per unit dot set text rs dot get string and here we have to write price and txt number of units dot set set text and here it's like this and txt total and here we write total txt total price dot text and then pass like this save this let's run this one let's test it out it's working or we having an issue if i click on this one you can see medicine id name company name you can see the price per unit is visible it means that till this point we are working this one everything is working fine let's close this one let me stop this one and after this we have to write the code to click on that button so it need to be uh, add to the card right so and for that purpose we need to write the code and before that we also need to write the code for the store, uh, numbers of unit actually so we keep pissed right sorry key released whenever key release we need to check that uh, the like that particular numbers of unit actually exist in our database or not like if someone try to generate the bills for the like uh, more than 10 quantity and 10 quantities exist in our database in that case we need to display the error okay so let's write the code for that one first so string number of units is equals to txt number of units dot bit text and if not number of unit dot equals double quotes and here we need to write inside this one we need to write string price is equals to txt price per unit dot get text and look up if number of unit and dot match and here we have to check the number pattern so j option pan 
g option pan dot shows dot show message null going to write number of unit field is invalid this error we are going to display and if after that we are going to total price is equals to integer integer dot parse int and here we have to, uh, like parse int so here number of units and teaser and teaser dot pass end and here we have write price and txt total price dot set text and here we have write the string dot values of and here we have write the total price and in else condition we are going to txt total price dot set this removed so let's run it and let's test it out it's working or we having any issue so i'm going to write here one two three you can see it's automatically calculating and if i click on add uh okay so okay basically it's not for this one we are just calculating the values over here so if we on click click on add to cart we are going to check that uh, it having that uh, exist in our cart or not so list uh, write the code for that one so we have to generate a if first so before that we are going to rename this one so change variable and here we are going to write the in button mm -hmm. to cart and click on ok and let's uh, stop the running process also let's go to the source and inside this we have to generate the event so double click on this you can see event has been generated over here and now we have to write a string number of unit number of units is equals to txt number of units dot get and after that a string string ID is equals to txt unique ID dot get and if this two does not exist dot equals uh, it should be equals to not equals to this one then we are going to exclude this so unique ID dot equals all quotes so it does not select any medicines or so we don't need to proceed further so that's why we are having this check a name dot txt name we are going to get the name dot get text string company name is equals to txt company name dot get text string price or unit is equals to txt price for unit dot get text and string for total price txt total price dot get text and int check stock is equals to zero initially and check sim fifth in cart is equals to zero okay so these two checks we need to uh, we have to check uh, before executing or doing anything okay. and after that we have to write try catch block so try catch and here we write exception Have to write G option G option pan dot so messages and here we write null and only here we just need to display me and inside this one we need to write connection 
connection con is equals to connection connection provider dot get con and after that statement st is equals to con dot create statement and after that result set st is the sorry rs is equals to st dot execute query and here we need to pass the query we are going to search it by the search it by the id medicine id so medicine where unique id is equals to um, double quote plus unique id by rs dot next let me scroll a little bit up this one and here if rs dot good and quantity here we have to write quantity and this one is equals to integer integer dot pass int and here we have to pass the numbers of units if this one then check check stop is equals to one and in else condition we are going to just write the option pan dot so so message here we write null and here we write medicine is out of stroke and we have to show only whatever the value we have in this space and rs dot print and we have to just display quantity so quantity and here we have to write put left to space and here left you have to just write like this okay and after that we have to check like if this condition is satisfied after that we have to just write if check stock is equal equals to one in that case we need to display here sorry actually we have to execute and we have to check that medicines exist in our database or not sorry uh, in table particular table or not like we have added some of the um, already already over here right so we will check that one now and here we have to check that default 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 and dtm is equals to and here we write default model and here we write cart table okay so we need to rename this one change variable name and here write cart table click ok and go to the source file now cart table dot get model we are going to get the value and if cart table dot get raw count this one is not equals to zero let me scroll this one and here here we have tried for and i is equals to zero and i card table dot get raw count i plus plus and after that in teaser dot parse end this one dot get value and here we have to write right i and we have to pass a zero and dot to a string and here we have to just match in teaser is dot parse int and here we have to just pass the unique id and here if unique id is matching with the any of our first if our uh, this one medicines id is going to match with this one any of the, our id uh, column raw so in that case we need to 
display like check medicines this one we need to show as uh, one okay and here we need to display error g option pan dot show messages show messages and here we just need to write null and here we have to write medicine already exist in cart this error we need to display and outside of this one and outside of this loop also and we also need to go to the outside of this one if condition if cart is not equals to zero and here we have to write if cart medicine this one we have created okay so check check medicine this one exists is equal equals to zero in that case we are actually going to add in our part so let's write here dtm dot add draw this one and new object and remove this one start the brackets and here we have to write unique id name company name price per unit and then numbers of units and here we have to write total price and here we have to write final total price is equals to final total price and plus in teaser teaser dot pass int and here we have to write total price and here we have to change the label name also go to the scroll down over here and here we have to write label final total price and click on ok save this go back to the source and here we are going to write label this one dot set text and values of as this is a int type so we have to convert is to so final total price this one and g option time dot show messages and here we are going to write null and here we have to write added success fully and save this after this one we have to call the clear field method so here i'm going to call the clear field method and outside of if condition and inside of this one uh, outside of okay outside of this one condition we have to write here else if this two uh, this two fields actually is equals to like uh, not any value so in that or blank you can say so in that case we need to display error so so message here we are going to write null here we have to write number number of units and medicine id field is required so this error we are going to display so let's test it out let me run this one and here if i click on this one and if i try to add to cart you can see we are getting this error if i write here one two three four and i'm trying to add to cart only 32 medicines is left if i write here 32 it will work add to cart you can see add it successfully and if i try to add this one again let's add one click to add to cart medicine already exists in cart you can see we are able to see all these things over here you can see the totals over here and you can see the medicine id name company name uh, price per unit numbers of unit and you can see the total price so it means that till this point it's working fine now we have to write the code so, so whenever click on this one draw of this particular table so it should get uh, options to delete that particular item okay from the card so for that purpose we have to right click on this one event and mouse click event we have to generate over here and here we have to write int index is equals to cart table dot get selected uh selected draw it should be raw let me scroll this one little bit and int is equals to j option pan dot show messages uh, show confirm messages actually show confirm message dialog and here we have to write null first and here we have to write do you 
want to remove this medicine we have to display this one and here we have to write select and here we have to write g option pan dot yes or no option we need to pass and if a is equal equals to zero in that case uh, we need to just write table dot model dot model is equals to cart table dot get model this one and string total is equals to model dot get values at and here we have to write index and here we have to write 5 and dot to string this one final total price is equals to final total price and in this condition we need to remove integer dot and here we have to write pass int and here we have to pass the totals and then we have to also set the label so dot set text string values of and final total value this one and we need to remove that particular okay so here we have to write default default table model and inside this one we have to write cart model cart table dot get model this one and dot outside of this one dot remove raw and we have to pass the index save this let's run this one and let's test it out uh, like it's working or we having an issue click on here one click on add to cart add it successfully click on this one do you want to remove no if i click on yes you can see it get removed and here you can see it's set to the zero it means that it's working fine as expected so now we have to go to the design and we have to generate the event for this one purchase and print so double click on this one event has been generated and here we have to set the condition if final total price is not equals to zero in that case we need to do some action okay so first we need bill id so this bill id we are going to get it from over here and we have to pass the prefix so bill dash prefix we are going to pass and after that default default this one dtm is equals to default tm this one cart table dot get model this one and if cart dot table get raw count this one is not equals to zero then we are going to execute this part of the code here we are going to use the for loop to get all the items from part and we have to update our medicine table and we have to decrease the quantity right so for that purpose we are writing this code and here we have to write part table dot hit raw count and i plus plus and here we have to write try catch block as we are writing the code related to data wish okay so here i'm going to write exception and g option pan dot so messages null here we are going to display e and in try block we have to write uh, we have to create the connection first so connection pawn equals to connection provider dot get con and after that a statement st equals to pawn dot create a statement and st dot execute update execute update we need to write execute update and in this we need to pass the query so here we have to write update medicine set quantity is equals to quantity minus and we have to subtract the quantity which we are going to get it from uh, that cart table so in teaser dot parse int and here we have to get that value from particular table 
in particular raw so get value and here we have to write i and here we have to pass the fourth column because we are getting the quantity from fourth so zero medicine id zero one two three and four so number of unit we are passing it over here and here we have to write dot two string okay and after second closing bracket plus and double quotes and here we have to write there unique unique id and here we have to pass the unique id and plus teaser teaser dot parse int and here we also need to pass the this value post medicine id value so we have to write dtm dot get value dtm dot okay so dtm we need to write so dtm dot get value and here at the first position we need to write i and at second we have to write at the place of normal we have to write zero just remove this one dot zero dot two string we need to write so let me show you the complete so update medicine set quantity and quantity subtract with whatever the integer value we get it from that particular table at fifth of oh, sorry fourth position and unique id and we have to get it from index zero okay and after that uh, we have to uh, outside of this uh, this one if condition we have to write the code to insert if you have to write the code to insert actually so try catch let's write try catch and here we have to write exception and here we have to write g option pan dot show messages null and here we have to pass the error and in try blog we have to write uh, like first we need to write simply simple date format and my format we have to write variable a new simple date format we need to write like this and here we have to write the date format so dd dash mm dash and small y y y let me scroll this one a little bit and here we have to write calendar calendar we have to write and we have to import it let me check it out where we need to import so this one need to be imported from our calendar should be imported from here and import java.utils. Uh, we also need to import the date so i'm going to write a date and here we have to scroll back to back over here okay so calendar error has okay so this one we have right calendar the cal is equals to calendar dot get instance and after that we have to create the connection on equals to connection provider class connection provider class dot get con and after that we have to prepare the statement so ps is equals to con dot prepared statement prepared statement here we write insert into bill and bill id we need to pass first then bill date and total paid and generated by we need to pass these values by after that values and after that question marks we need to pass one two three and four put semicolon at the end after this we have to write ps dot set string and here we have to write one bill id ps dot set a string and here we have to write two and here we have to write my format dot format and here we have to write cal dot get time whatever the time we are going to pass it over here and ps dot set int and third and final total amount we are going to pass final total 
amount we are going to pass it over here and ps dot set string and here we write four and in this we need to pass just a user name of that ps dot execute cute update this one we have to just save this and after that we have to write the code to generate the bill okay so let me minimize this one and let me open this library so as you know we already added this itext.jar so we are using this one to generate our bill okay so inside over here we have to write the code to create document or bill you can say so bill we are going to write here so com.itext pdf dot text dot document and here we have write doc is equals to new form dot itext dot text dot document and here we have write try catch block block exception and here we need to display G option pan dot show messages null and here we have to just write e and inside this one we need to write pdf pdf writer this one uh, pdf writer dot book instance here we have to write doc we need to pass a new file output stream this one and we have to pass the wave to that so uh, we have to just pass the pharmacy 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 utils this one we need to import okay let me scroll to the above and here we have to write import and draw dot pharmacy utils we need to import this one scroll and just copy this pharmacy utils let's get back to the here and let's paste it over here and here we have to write bill path then plus and double quotes plus and here we have to pass the bill id which we have plus quotes and here we write dot pdf the extension we need to write over here and after that we have to write doc dot open open the truck and paragraph we need to write so right paragraph we need to import paragraph we have to import it from form dot document so after that here we have to write the name so whatever the uh, which, uh, like pharmacy name right so pharmacy name and here we have to write new paragraph so new paragraph and here in this double quotes we just need to pass the name whatever you want to display at the top of the page so pharmacy management system like this and put slash n and here you have to put little bit of space as per your documentation like if you print the bill it should be look at the center so that purpose you need to put some space and whenever you print you can see it's center or not if not then put additional space in this one okay and after that here we have write doc doc dot and add here and here we have to pass the pharmacy name after that paragraph paragraph and star star line we have to write like this a new paragraph and here we have to just uh, we have to just we have to display like this and to like it should be in the complete line so we have to just uh, put a star and see if uh, it's short or something like that so you can add additional stars in your line okay and after that doc dot add and a star line you can see after that the next paragraph will be for paragraph and let's write here details details is equals to new paragraph and inside this one we are going to write slash t bill id and here we have to put space little bit over here then bill id we need to pass plus 
double quote slash n and then we have to display the date put little space and here now we have to write new date whatever the date today new date and plus and double quote slash n and total paid and here space plus final total price this things we are need to print in our pdf so doc dot doc dot add paragraph for the details scroll a little down now let's put uh, star here but add a star line star line we have to put it over here put semicolon and after that pdf pdf writer dot tb sorry not pdf writer pdf table actually this one we need to import and here we have write tb1 and new pdf tf table and here here we have to pass 6 not like this one and here we need to write 6 and put se semicolon in tb1 dot add cells whatever the sales we need to display so we need to write like this so medicine id and tb1 dot add shell and here we write name so the same way we need to copy it four more times so just copy this one and this one two three and four and here we write company name after okay here we, after that we write price per unit and after price the next is number of units and sub total price like this and then we have to use for loop and int i is equals to zero and i is list to the card table so card table dot hit raw count this one and i plus plus and from inside this one, we are going to print that in our PDF. So string a is equals to cart table dot get values as i. And here I'm going to get the value to zero and dot to string. So here I'm going to copy paste this one five more times over here. One, two, three, four, and five. And here I'm going to change this to b c c t e and f and here we need to change this one one two three four and five then we have to write like this so tb one dot add cell and here we have to pass the a so the same way we need to copy paste one two three four and five and we just need to change this over here b c d e and f okay after that uh, outside of this for loop here we have to write doc dot add tv1 table 1 and doc dot add and here we have to write the star line we need to display and and then we have to add a paragraph paragraph Hence, message message is equals to new paragraph and inside this one we are going to write like this thank you thank you please visit again something like this message whatever the message you want you can add it for now I have added this one and add and then we have to write thanks message over here and here we have to write the code to open the pdf pdf okay and outside of this catch blocks we have to write doc dot close we need also need to close the doc variable which we have open and then we have to write here set visible false and new cell medicine and we have to pass the username dot set visible and here we have to write true 
and outside if condition because we are writing the code inside this if condition and this condition we need to display their message that will be g option pan dot show message and here we write null and here we have to write please add medicine to part we need to write message this message okay after this we have to create a package over here so just right click on the source package and click on java package and here we write common enter and inside this one create a java class and rename it as open pdf click finish after that you have to go inside this one and here we have to create a method so public static void open by id and here we need to pass the string id now here we have to write try catch block catch and exception exception e and inside this one we need to write g option pan dot two messages null e and in the try block here we have to write if new file new file and here we have to pass the u value so here we have to write import import and dow dot and here we write pharmacy utils so new files inside the curly bracket over here and here we write pharmacy utils dot bill dot path and after the plus id plus or uh, double quotes i dot pdf and inside outside of this one dot exist exist in that case we are going to execute this one else we are going to just display a message that file does not exist in the, the given location so i'm going to just write in null and file file does not exist this message we are going to display uh, now here we have to write process p is equals to runtime then we have to write dot get runtime dot e c this one and here we have to write dll 32 if url dot dll and then we have to pass file protocol file protocol call handler and then space and then we have to pass the path here okay it should be inside of this one not like this and then quotes and then we have to write here put the space over here then we have to write here pharmacy utils dot pin path and then plus double quotes then plus id whatever id will get and plus dot and double quotes dot pd put semicolon and save this now we have to connect this one with our uh, cell medicine page so just go to the cell medicine and here in the this button actually if i go over here here double click on this button and here we have commented that open pdf code so here we need to call that method so just remove this one open let's call this method and call that class method and then we have to pass string dot values of and bill id we need to pass the bill id and save this so our coding part is completed so let's uh, run this project from login page and let's test it out and user test one two three i'm logging as a pharmacist and here you can see i'm click on cell medicine here you can see I clicked on it this one one add to cart add it successfully I am clicking on 
purchase and print okay here we are getting the error here is syntax 100 okay so we are going to close this and we are going to close this exit this one and let's see here where the code we are having issue generate bill user id okay where okay so here there's a we need to put little space over here so because it's a uh, Concating the uh, quantity with a where clause, so we have just put a space and uh, let's log in it again. And here I'm going to write a user one, two, three. Clicking on login, I'm going to sell the medicine. Click on this one, I'm going to write one item, add to cart, purchase, and print. Okay, so this one is also wrong. The path we are get, passing is wrong. Just Close this one. Let me exit. And if I go to the path over here, let me test it out. Okay, it should be not this one. It should be this one. Okay, so this was also wrong. So now let's test it again. So I'm going to log in. Click on login button. I'm sorry, user test one, two, three, login. Cell medicines and let me click it one, two, need to cut, purchase and print the bill. Here you can see a bill has been printed over here, and here you can see the bill ID, you can see the date, you can see the total paid, you can see the medicines ID, name, company name, price per unit, numbers of unit, you can see the subtotal. Here you can see over here, and here you can see the star is not uh, like perfectly till the end so you have to add few more stuff um, and a uh, symbol um, over here okay so you can fix it by those things and here we'll add few more products let's uh, uh, not product medicines let me add the medicine 101 test 111 test company company 101 quantity let's add 23 100 save this okay close this let's sell medicines now if i click on this one you can see here if i write 233 and try to add to cart it will show only 23 left and let's change this to 20 add to cart you can see this one if i try to add it again the same product so it should medicine already exist in cart okay add this one Add one, add to cart. Let's try to purchase and print the bill. You can see uh, the total amount 3001. You can see the subtotal. Total here you can see. It means that everything is working as expected later to sell medicine part. I hope you guys like this video. So please hit like and subscribe my channel. Thank you.